Hey everyone, I work in artificial intelligence in education sector and in this video I will briefly describe what it means to be working in AI in education sector. My name is Ilner and on my channel I usually share some education related topics and some development tips so if you haven't been yet subscribed to my channel please do so obviously if you like the channel so i've been working in ai in education for one and a half years already and i work for university 2035 which is a government-run organization uh, focusing on the digital transformation of the higher education system here in russia and we're heavily you know focusing on artificial intelligence so i just decided that maybe some of you guys might be interested in this topic and maybe some of you are looking at that as a potential career choice so i'll just generally outline what it means to be working in ai in education so obviously here i need to give the definition of the ai in education right so basically ai is when you create some kind of it solutions or programs or products that will be able to handle very complex calculations okay probably most probably dealing with some big data and which will uh, as a result seem to be very very intelligent that's basically it and since we are talking about education here these means that these artificial intelligence solutions are somehow used for education purposes that's basically it and obviously this is a very broad definition there are many different things that people are using artificial intelligence for within education and yeah i'm not gonna go into details there but let me rather switch to describing what it means to be working in there okay A very important thing here to understand is that working with AI, artificial intelligence, is always a teamwork. So right now I'm going to show you, you know, the general outline of a team which is supposed to be working with artificial intelligence. So here, in the middle, you see the AI-driven product. This is the end result that we are supposed to be creating, right? And it always has at least two wings. So first of them is social science and the second is information technology. It's a wrong assumption to think that AI-driven products are only based on IT. They never are. They usually use certain social science theories, you know, under the hood. So what is social science doing here? Diagnostics, for example. You diagnose your students, you assess them. So assessment is here. Or you are using learning theories when creating certain personalized adaptive learning mechanisms or you might be using some psychological theories like for example there are some chatbots which function as a therapist or you might be referring to sociology like for example one of our products helps to assess to diagnose the organizational culture of an organization using ai driven you know, mechanisms. There are lots of different ideas here, lots of different theories which can be brought into these fields and based on which we are then creating the other solutions. So information technology is not at all the, you know, the essence of this. So this is very important, okay? It means that you could tap a social science background, say in psychology or sociology or pedagogy, and you could still be working with artificial intelligence. But to do that, you have to you know, develop a certain mindset to be working with the data, data-driven mindset. But let's go back to information technology and I'll just unpack it here for you. Basically, it means that some people should be working at back end. It's the inner part of the mechanism, uh, the front end, the actual outer surface of the system, of the IT system that we as users see. Uh, there is this data science component there. These are the guys who are working with the data and know lots of different ways of working with it. And obviously there is some space here for analytics and so on, okay? So there are different specializations here, okay? People do work in these certain areas. And obviously the IT part of things is also a teamwork. So yeah, basically these are the two wings that are brought together to create AI-driven product. 
But that's not enough. I should also talk here about methodology. So if you are interested in methodological issues, you are the one who actually understands how these social science issues can be converted into IT algorithms. Methodology, in a way, is a very interesting profession to be able to work with the two worlds, with the social science world and the IT science world. And this is something that I personally love doing. So only social science guys are not enough. Only information technology guys are not enough. There is this function of methodology. So yeah, this is also a very important part of the team. And also here we have to talk about product managers. A product manager is someone who you know takes all these things and brings in the logic of how can I make this valuable for the users? How can I make the user experience and user interface design, for example, for these IT solutions so that the users would be very happy to be using it? So this is another part of the team, product managers, okay? And there is another guy here who is called project manager. So say you have a client, a big client who wants you to provide them with certain services. And this is a project, you know, you have to plan it, you have to allocate the resources, you have to be able to manage all these processes. So that's where the project managers also come into place. So yeah, and there are also others, the legal department, you know, the administrators and some other people who are also somehow involved in this whole process. So as I say, this is always a teamwork. Your personal experience will very much depend on the certain position that you are working in. You might be taking different positions here according to your background, your you know, interests and so on. And only together can you make the AI driven product. Interesting, right? Say if you are a teacher, you could obviously be finding yourself somewhere here in the learning theorist sector. You could be, you know, enriching the whole process with your social science knowledge. This is like the general outline of a team. Another thing is you can imagine how much communication this genre needs to be able to create this product because all these people need to be communicating with each other and there is lots of communication in there. As another important requirement here for the people who want to be working in this kind of projects is being able to think in a specific way. Well, namely being able to understand different paradigms, okay? You should be able to understand the social science people. You should be able to understand the stakeholders. You should be able to understand what the IT guys are telling you, okay? These kind of things, because since it's all about communication and the people in the team are working on different you know, functions, you should be able to manage all these in your mind and be able to understand them all. Also, another specific thinking skill here that you need to acquire is being able to think in what they call data-driven manner, being able to understand how all this data flows, how it goes in, how it goes out, and so on, these kind of things, okay? Another interesting thing about these kind of projects is that since the team here is so big uh, and all of these people have to be, you know, professionals, it's quite expensive to be able to have all these people in your team. So this is just something to understand. These things are quite expensive. And the tasks that these kind of teams are working on are rather complex but I'd say they are very challenging and interesting and intriguing at times. I would say that working in AI and education sector is quite fun. I think this is enough for the first video on this topic. If you have any questions about it, leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer your questions if you have them. Um, obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye.